Hi, I'm John Hovenet. In cataract surgery, particularly with refractive implants, accuracy is everything in achieving a satisfied patient. In this study, we evaluated the impact on patients with dry eye of using cyclosporin 0.09% to clean up the ocular surface in patients who had corneal staining and a reduced tear breakup time uh, before biometry was performed in surgery. So what we did is took 64 patients who had identified dry eye and performed biometry immediately and then treated those same patients for 28 days with CEQA, which is cyclosporin 0.09%. We then repeated the biometry after the treatment period and then performed biometry based upon the biometry performed after treatment. We then looked back based on the one month post-operative outcome at the predictionary uh, error of each of the preoperative measurements, the one done before treatment for dry eye with CEQA and the one done after the CEQA treatment. We compared which biometry measurement was more accurately predictive, uh, predictive of the final outcome. We found consistently and significantly more accurate results when biometry was performed after treatment with cyclosporin. We also looked at other measures of dry eye, like tear breakup time, corneal staining, conjunctival redness, and speed scores. And in all of those categories, statistically significant improvements in dry eye status were found after 28 days of treatment with CEQA. So we concluded that this treatment, cyclosporin 0.09%, is a reasonable choice when patients who have dry eye have upcoming cataract surgery and when we desire to improve the ocular surface for more accurate biometry. I'm John Hovanesian. Thanks for watching.